Hello everybody, this is Unreal Gaming HD and in today's video as you can see on the screen on my right over here actually I'm showing it to the left of my <laughs> on my from my perspective but yeah on my right over there you can see today it's part 7 and we will be discussing overlays number 2 and no Nvidia surround for triple screen setup which for me is the most interesting part of this video and the most useful for me personally but let's take a look at what we are supposed to do now first thing to make overlays so let me say it another way how overlays make sense is that you overlay iRacing or you can overlay any app or anything but that is not in full screen and it's really important several people ask me how do I do it if I have only single screen and I need to overlay my full screen app there is no way around you either have to run it in borderless or windows mode but today we're talking about triples and I do not know how to run triples the same way like full HD. So it looks the same. It's really borderless. You have the bezel correction and everything as you're running a full screen. So now we're going to take a look at how to do it in the borderless mode. And it looks just like full screen. So let's hop in to NVIDIA setup. Okay. We are in NVIDIA control panel we're gonna select under uh, 3d options configure surround this x and as you can see now i am not using any of those con uh, surround configuration so this is just a confirmation of me not using anything the only thing you need to do is to edit app.ini files in documents of iRacing so we're gonna hop to my left screen which is this one and we're gonna go to the documents which i have over here we're gonna fight iRacing we're gonna go to app ini and what you need to do is to right click it push edit and it's gonna pop up this notepad okay we're gonna scroll down almost into the middle and when you see graphics dx11 that's what you're looking for we'll be editing this pretty much but not only that but let's take a look at my top screen where you can see the post from the guy who i'm really thankful for because that's pretty much my butt saver and it's not only good for being able to overlay iRacing, you will also be able to minimize some minimizing of a game when you're in the car and driving. Imagine you're doing 24 hours of Le Mans, you're being on podium, and then into the Indianapolis, your game minimizes and you completely crash the car, like one minute of uh, required repairs, and it's over, whole 23 hours have been for nothing and you have just tears in your eye uh, in your eyes with this i have one error which is popping up quite often and it has something to do with a script i have no idea don't ask me i don't know how to get rid of it unless i'm gonna reinstall my windows i think that's the fix but that's the thing that have been shutting down all of my full screen apps games or even apps so with this, I already confirmed that even if this pops up, which is, this is what I'm talking about. If this pops up, it does not do anything with my iRacing and iRacing is still the one that takes part in, not in the background, but the opposite. The error is in the background and I still can race. The good thing is that even if you, for example, push start button on your keyboard, you can still work with, uh, for example, Crew Chief, GRT, anything, and you're still able to drive upshift, downshift, and you don't lose your FPS. And you're still running three screens. So please fill in what you can see on that screen over there and insert it 
over here into the notepad. So you will need to adjust those. And I think this one. Full screen to zero. I cannot see it. Full screen to zero. And border to zero. See? And I have to say, as it's written even over there, this is for three full HD monitors, 920 by 1080. Okay, if you got something else, you will have to uh, change this value and this value maybe as well. I'm not really sure if 1440p uh, monitors run. Yeah, you will have to even adjust this. Sorry. Yeah, this will be 1440, I think. Doesn't matter. This is just for just for full HD triple motor setup. That's it. So once you've done this, you are good to go to start up your iRacing. Okay. And once you do that, you can use your overlays over the iRacing with no ease, with no problems on these, of course. So what you're gonna do is to go over here, start up your JRT, which I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. Start a JRT server. Just click on it, like you would do any other time. And you need to do as well this. This is what's gonna start up overlays. I'm gonna switch to my left screen so you can see it. And now I will not be able to, God damn it. Okay. And I'm gonna push button to activate my overlay page. Boom. And I got a dashboard there. Okay. Boom. Timing one. Bam. Timing four, which is exactly made for being overlay since it's transparent. You can see it quite badly. But give me a second. I'm just going to switch it off. If it lets me. It does not let me switch it off. Whatever. But this is overlays. Or these are overlays. Look at that. Calculator. Dashboard again. Timing one. Transparent uh, timing four. This is it. And just imagine you're running iRacing on your triple monitors. And this is it. Th that's all what you need. There might be one more thing. Let me go to my middle screen. You go into properties. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> this one. And you need to make sure that all of those triples you're running are actually lined up perfectly. If one is going to be up like this, it is going to miss something and it will not be aligned correctly. So you need to make sure it is this way, completely aligned all across all three screens. Or it doesn't really matter. It has nothing to do with it. But those has to be lined up perfectly. I'm going to put on uh, the screen again what you need to do. So um, let me repeat it real quick. You need to go into Documents, iRacing, find app.ini, right-click it, edit, and you're going to fill in those things as you can see it on the screen. Don't forget, he says also set full screen to zero and border to zero. It's really important. And it only applies to three full HD monitors, just so you know. No surround. You can completely avoid that because I couldn't stand surround or I had to learn how to live with that and it wasn't something i would really enjoy to be honest with you since i uh, enjoy playing some PUBG or some other things that i just run on single uh, monitor which is my middle one for gaming of course and it was just a pain in the ass i gotta be honest with you so this is all what you do and it just works out of the blue so as i say first edit ap.ini and then do the overlays. I'm just gonna quickly, quickly show you how you do that. I use, for example, my launcher. So I'm gonna go into the pages options, launcher. I'm gonna add this page to the overlays, just enable it. I set my dimensions, meaning X position, Y position, width, and height. And only thing I enable is borders only for a Chrome app. I do not want to be clicked through the overlay 
because basically I do use that uh, option to be able to interact with that over uh, not overlay but with that timing four or timing one while I'm driving with my mouse so that's it you can enable it for any of those you can even do single dashboard you can just enable it for the overlays and so on but don't forget you need to start GRT server at any circumstances if you are not starting GRT server the overlays will have zero info what's happening around you on track there will be just no data data flowing into overlay so you need to run both disclaimer it will use some CPU performance but I did not find any limitations to my Ryzen 1700X CPU on the track, even doing 24 hours of, of Le Mans. Okay, so this is it for this video. I'm just gonna say that next video, part number eight, will be about a page called Spotter. And I need to test it myself. I will be testing it in a few hours. I just need to see how it works, how responsive is it, and how distracted can you get by this kind of page which is something really unknown for me at the moment but i will make sure that within a week i will release a video on spotter page so stay tuned in case you enjoyed these videos please subscribe to youtube and you can even visit my twitch channel unreal gaming hd where i stream pretty much every single race i do i just want to you know chill have some chat with the people that enjoy what i do and especially with people enjoy sim racing or i racing to be more particular so thank you for watching this was unreal gaming hd and i'll see you later on maybe even over the twitch see you guys take care